And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Well, I decided that this hive that I thought I might want to farm is just too close to my base to, to really make me feel comfortable farming it. I really don't want to grow it because I've done some checking um, with the coordinates and, the, you know, that, that nickel that's way down, way down below... Well, that is about right there. If you came all the way up, that's where that nickel would land. Um, and I am digging out right now a cargo lift shaft uh, all the way up to here. Um, although I'm going to have to stop by in the cold caverns and, and continue it because it's just too deep. So if my nickel is coming up here, I'm going to have a massive smelting operation right here for it. Up, we're talking 20, 25 smelters for nickel. Um, you know, that is, that is a huge operation. And uh, I really don't want a hive sitting like right here just waiting to pounce on me. So... Let's see where the center is. There's the center right here. And it's grown quite a bit because we had a, a Minoc incident. But let's see if I... I do have some explosives. They're not charged very high. I don't have really the ability to charge them very high. But I want to be able to exit really quick here. So I want to just sort of clear this out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Hive. Give me your brain, though. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Some more parts landed over here. Yeah, you can see. I mean, it, it really, it really grew. So, yeah, it was pretty dangerously big. And uh, I really didn't want to deal with it. So now that one is gone. I'm not sure if the next one takes over and shows me which one it is or if I have to like reload the game. But I know there are more around me. There's always more. See all those all those lone green boxes, those are all hive mines. So there's a lot of them down there. If I go to you, you can see if I zoom way out here, all those green boxes. There's the next hive right right there. Unless that's the one I just blew up. That seems to be the one I just blew up. Oh no, maybe not. No, it looks like it's underneath. Underneath there. So yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to have to do something about all this resin eventually. With these other explosives though, we've got plans for these. I've got a couple more. I've been having worms spawn right up here. So right up here where there's resin, I've been having worms spawn up here, and I I rather would not have that. Uh, if everything being equal, I would not want that. Hopefully I put that far enough away. I don't think it should. Yeah, that worked pretty good. It's hard to be it's hard to be really surgical with these bombs. I mean, you'd really have to count out how many blocks there are because it's a certain radius. So just trying to top off some of these mountains. Because they'll eventually get flattened, of course. Not sure where else to go. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to top this one off here. 
So I think that's resin. Yeah. Let's let's uh, clear some of this out. There is some coal in there, but we got so much coal around us that we don't really need to worry about it. So I'm going to embed this one a little bit. Get maximum maximum amount of excavation going on here. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Interesting formation. That coal was like a donut or something. That was that was actually quite a lot of coal that was sitting right here. There's some oh that's the hive right there. Yeah, that was the hive poking up. So that had grown quite a bit actually. It's kind of scary at the same time. I think it's time to head down. So I've got quite, quite the hole dug here. Uh, this goes down. I've got a little iron, you know, poking out where I'm actually mining it. And uh, from here, it actually goes down all the way to the nickel area. Go down. There we go. Let's see how many times I fall through it. So we got a little ore poking out there, which is fine. Um, but from here, from here, it's an absolute free fall. I do have that huge amount of iron sticking out there, which I'll probably end up mining eventually. So from here, we go straight down into the ground. I love how deep you can go in this game. So here is the cold caverns, which uh, are are needing a little bit of excavation. But uh, I'm not sure where where they come where that uh, nickel pops out at. I always lose my bearings under here. So from here, I think I have to fall down to this one. Continue the, oh, there we fall through the, oh man. Okay, don't, don't fall through. It's not cool when you do that. So this one, I don't know. I think it's over here. This is where we go down to the toxic. So this is uh, sort of where my nickel is right now. But again, we're going to run out pretty quickly. And one last little bit there. I will have to reorganize the lifts, but it's not an easy task. Oh, there we fall through again. It's such a weird bug. Don't fall through. I have died because of that little bug. So here I've built a little box around around our area because I'm going to be bringing power down here. I'm going to be putting the lifts over here instead of having them over there. All the lifts are going to go over here. And I do a kind of a back and forth. So I'll, I'll put power down on one wall. And then I'll have a lift on one side, and once that's maxed out, I'll have the lift on the other side. And they just keep going back and forth all the way down, and it works out really, really well. Okay, so you can see this just, this just keeps going. And because we're in the toxic caverns, we're not able to really use a lot of our grapple so you gotta wait for it so there's a 
huge hole right there all the way up to the surface and back here is where our nickel is going to go so you can see it's actually done and to make sure it's clear i'm going to hit q and hit plus on the numpad and that resets it so it begins its scan again and as you can see there it's done so it's really fast uh, and this area here is going to be hard to find up in the cold caverns. So what is, what are the coordinates? 5515, okay. Now to get back up again is just a matter of hoping Hoping you shoot can shoot this far enough. Oh, see it's coming back down. That's a problem. So now it's reset. Hit it again. And hopefully hit it again. Yep. But I couldn't hit it to slow myself down, so it's kind of a it's definitely a hit or miss situation. Uh now I don't honestly not sure which side of the world that uh, that opening is at so I have to use my debug menu up in the cold caverns to try to get some power over to it to finish off the hole because while I'm doing this I have more rack rails being made I've got like 900 on me no I've actually got a little over a thousand almost 1100 rack rails because getting from where the where I'm gonna smelt it all the way down is gonna take you know 1400 rack rails at least it's probably gonna take you know 1450 or even 1500 so it's gonna be a lot of material just for the one cargo lift and I plan to have two or three of them you know by the time we're really rolling oh yeah I've got a okay onward and upward upward there we go oh yeah this is where I'm gonna come out okay we need 5515 Okay, so we have the wrong direction here, so let's go way over here. So there's 15. And this, there it is. Right here. And we just, just shaved a little off this uh, crystal deposit which I don't think we're actually mining this one. We're mining this one over here. So this is a good place for it. The next one, if I get my bearings right here, I think the next one is gonna go right here. So we don't have to worry too much about that. So I want to, um, let's uh, cover that hole for now. And we're going to want to come in right here. So I need to power it. So here we go. Let's uh, initiate it again. I can get rid of the debug menu. Uh, we want to shrink it down to one and we want to increase it to at least 240 because we're at minus 248 and our surface is actually down um, 12 from the surface so 240 should be plenty and hit the T to not drop blocks please and now we just need to give it some power so and it should start processing right away there we go 
And now we're digging up. So I've did craft the cargo lift controller and I'm crafting the rack rails because of just the sheer number that we're gonna need. I've had to just continue collecting them when they get done. So as soon as possible, we are gonna try to get the first major nickel run down the, as deep as we can. And it's gonna go, it's gonna be a, a slow cargo lift. The first, the first tech of cargo lift only goes like five meters per second. So we're talking, we're going 700 and roughly 730 meters. That's a lot of time to go that amount. It's a couple minutes just to go, just to travel the distance. So it is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So I want an ore extractor, drill motors, and a bunch of hoppers. I'm actually out of iron. Amazing. So here's my rack railer setup right over there. So you can see those are full, but I need the iron actually. And I'm just going to scoop, I'm just going to scoop those up. It'll just sit and work. No worries. Oh, I'll grab all the copper, grab the nickel, and let's see if we can build a basic cargo lift. We need four servo motors. Definitely. And basic cargo lift. Perfect. Definitely. Perfect, perfect. And the last would be a smelter which we can afford Definitely. and another Definitely. forced induction Definitely. and we're gonna need a whole lot of power but for now I'm gonna leave that alone because I'm not sure where where we're gonna do our thing here so yeah, it's a lot of work in between episodes to sort of gear this up. Um, I'm going to have to clear this huge chunk of land out uh, because right here, this is a marker for something. I honestly forgot what this is a marker for. Um, and then we have this back here is the nickel. So right back here is where our nickel is going to come up. So I need to put the excavator down right here and clear out just a massive, massive chunk of land, which takes, you know, it takes a while for it to do that. Uh, and uh, I don't want to have episode after episode just me digging out the land. So it's a lot of wait time in between. And this is still giving me some lithium. And now that we've got lithium coming in, I'll be able to do a proper... Uh, recharge station for good old spider bro and we've got the massive amount of coal right here so that is as I don't know if we're gonna be needing it or what but uh, our smelting stopped because I took away the power over here um, it used to go you know all the way down over there so I might as well, I might as well shoot it down there while I have this. So, because it's going to be a few minutes before I can do the excavator and really clear out that land, get ready for our big nickel upheaval. I don't know. I forgot what this was. What was this? Was this uh, gold or titanium? I 
I'm pretty sure that's the that's the miner or that's the excavator right there. Yeah, it might be. It might be the titanium. I'll have to I'll have to look. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.